Yeah. Hi, everyone. My name is Solisto Mayokonkwo, and uh, I've been studying engineering uh, since high school, essentially. I was in an engineering uh, program in my magnet program in high school, and at Harvard, I pursued bioengineering um, uh, and a bachelor in science, especially. Uh, while I was in Harvard, I also did a lot of research. I worked with two major labs uh, at the university. And yeah, I'm very interested in helping students who are interested in engineering uh, kind of gain the perspective that they need to properly pursue their goals, whether that's, you know, in bio, uh, mechy, electrical, um, and kind of making sure that they can nurture that engineering passion that they have while they're in high school and kind of get that all the way through to college and past that. You mentioned uh, the magnet school where you learned uh, engineering. Um, any lessons that you learned throwbacks on, you know, maybe some of our students are in magnet schools, mm -hmm. but not all. Uh, what's an advice for a student who is already in a magnet school doing already some kind of engineering, maybe the things, I's dotted, T's crossed area that you could help them with, or maybe students who are not in the engineering field, but might want to consider taking engineering as a minor or the interdisciplinary skill. Um, mm -hmm. Could be two separate questions, but please, any perspective on that? Sure, yeah. Uh, I think that a very important thing to do, especially uh, while you're in high school pursuing engineering, is making sure that you know you understand why you're taking the engineering courses, like making sure that you have some type of unified goal or perspective that you're working towards. Uh, I think often like even some of my friends in high school they kind of spin their wheels in engineering they would take all the ap's and they would kind of stress themselves out but they if they didn't really know why they were doing it they had a hard time uh explaining in in interviews or in essays or otherwise uh and that uh could lead to problems so i think yeah understanding why you want to do engineering understanding kind of that that big goal in the sky that doesn't necessarily feel very realistic or, you know, it's very hard to predict when you're in high school, but like having that big goal, that shoot for the moon type of perspective, I think um, is very important. And then understanding how, you know, little by little, you want to work there. Maybe some of these, uh, we have students actually, who just this year in the senior batch, who are, who want to engineering, but in terms of demonstrated interest, they have very little to show about why engineering, almost on the lines of what you talked about. I mean, maybe some of them have taken some one summer camp course, but they still don't, they believe they like it, but they don't have enough demonstrator interest to showcase. Any thoughts, what, what did you do specifically to demonstrate to Harvard at your time that you really meant it? You were not just, you know, blowing air, talking about a subject like engineering just because it sounded cool. Mm -hmm. Um. So in my case, I guess uh, I, my path was a little bit more on rails. Like I, I joined the program called Project Lead the Way, which is, um, you know, a four year, very formalized process in terms of continuously um, pursuing engineering. Uh, so, so yeah, in my case, it was very much, I just joined a program and I followed all the steps. Uh, but I do think that even signing up for little or like smaller competitions that are in the local community that promote like engineering, even if it's like box car um, racing, stuff like that, like being able to have experiences um, that you can write about, like even if you know you haven't taken that many engineering classes, but you remember the experience of making a box car and how you loved iterating on that process. And you know what I mean? Like as long as you, you have that spirit um, somewhere that you can express it, I think that's, important enough like like you know in high school they don't really expect you to be a, a full-on engineer in any regard like it you, you know there are a variety of reasons why you may not have access to that and, and stuff like that um you know colleges where you can really sink your teeth into engineering right so just demonstrating that interest uh i think can be enough and, and just making sure that you really do have you know that that like that central reason that like, oh, like this really excites me on a core level. Like it's not about like technical competence. It's about wanting to do it. The college will provide you with the technical competence. Got it. Okay, perfect. So I think that's a very good closure on the details. And, you know, so any of the students who are considering uh, special projects, you know, year long projects, they want to do something which is engineering focused, maybe, you know, reach out to Alyssa and Sineme. And of course, you know, all the engineering students will be 
route it to you to have some initial level of conversation. But anything else that you want to communicate to the students? No, nope, that's all for me. I'm very excited to work with any of the students. Thank you. Thank you very much.